Now let's assume that you have a malware in form of a DLL file, a dynamically linked library. And the malware is invoked by calling an exported function. So let's look at this example. You have this malware which is named mal.dll and the exported function is named ocsp underscore resp underscore find. And in addition, you might have command line arguments like these two. So this would be the way to invoke the malware. And the question is, how do you analyze that dynamically using X64 debug? And I'd like to show you how to do that. First of all, you will open up run DLL32, which is typically placed in Windows System32 directory. You open up and it's going to stop at the system breakpoint. So none of the user mode code of run DLL32 has run. And then you'll go ahead and change the command line. Basically what you will do is you will adapt it so that you will provide it a path to a DLL file and provide it the command line arguments that you need. So in my case, I placed the malware DLL right here and we will append what we need in order to have it invoked. So here we go. And the second piece of information that you likely need up front is the address in memory where this exported function is going to reside. And in this case, it is this address. Now at this point, the DLL file is not yet loaded. So you will go ahead and do one thing. Under options preferences, you will tick the DLL load because that will make sure that once the DLL is loaded, execution will stop. You can go ahead and run, run DLL32 now. And at some point, it's going to pause. And right here in the status bar, you can check the reason why it has been paused. We'll go ahead and we'll see that the mal DLL has been loaded now. We can also check in the memory map and we should find at some point, yeah, here we go. We should find our mal DLL. Now we can go ahead and create a breakpoint at the starting address of our function of interest, which is the export. So we'll set a breakpoint at 18000.3c70. Let's do that. Switch to the CPU pane. and set a breakpoint. We'll continue, let the sample run. It might pause a few times because there might be some other DLLs that are loaded, but eventually we should hit our breakpoint, which we do right now. And from now on, you can single step and trace in the way you want throughout the malicious code of the exported function in the DLL. Have fun.